Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Devar Halacha. And here's a brand new Halacha for you. It's for Monday, 12th day of June, 18th day of Sivan. Here we go. More laws about visiting the sick, the mitzvah of Bikur Cholim. If you have a choice as to who to visit, person A and person B, person A is uh, conscious, sitting in a bed, needs someone to talk to, person B is unconscious. And you know there is a reason to visit unconscious people, they hear your voice, it's helpful to them. But the question is if you can only do one, which one takes precedence? And in halacha, it's considered visiting the conscious that takes precedence because, um, well, I guess you got to figure you'll you'll accomplish more with the conscious person, hopefully. Um, if you think otherwise and you feel otherwise based on the situation, sure, talk to a rabbi. Just all of the things being equal, we put a conscious person above the visiting of an unconscious person. If you have someone to visit who's dangerously ill and someone who's mildly ill, you go to the dangerously ill person, of course. Um, if you can't schedule a daytime visit, nighttime is also considered okay for visits. You just have to make sure that it works for the patient and the hospital and the visiting situation of the hospital. But uh, visiting at night does work when it's otherwise workable. Um, some say alone is better, you know, going alone to visit. Some say it's better to go with a group. Both are discussed in halacha. They both seem to be okay. If you are going with a group, make sure that the group isn't overwhelming for the sick person, like too many people, too too much action, or, you know, please consider that before going. Um, you have to make a plan on conversation. You can't just get there and say, what do you want to talk about? I mean, have something prepared. Think about what you want to talk about. Have a plan. Because if you go without a plan and you actually, you know, make it harder on the visited person, then you're not helping. So do be careful about that, please. Um, be very careful to not show a sad face. You're going to help the person, right? So if you say, oh my gosh, it's worse than, worse than I thought. Well, that's not helping the person, obviously. So do be very, very careful with that also. Plan to ease his pain. Plan to pain. Plan to cheer him up. You can prepare a joke, you know, and that's all considered appropriate. I just want to cut in for a second and remind you that's not how it works when you're visiting a mourner. With a mourner you don't plan to cheer him up. If he wants to cry, you cry with him, literally. Uh, but that's for mourning. But when you're visiting a sick person, then obviously you want to help them leave their sickness. So you can plan jokes and plan how to cheer them up. Make, just make sure it's appropriate. You have to match it to the patient. For a Tamil Chacham, you know, you'll want to tell him a Dvar Torah if he appreciates that, hopefully. He will. Um, if you're with a person who doesn't understand Dvar Torah, so, you know, tell him something else. But just plan it so that it helps the person. Um, you should not discuss the sickness itself unless the sick person wants to discuss that with you. But otherwise, don't bring it up. And I guess it goes without saying, but I'll say it anyway just to be certain. If you know someone who had his sickness and they died from it, what it... Why would you want to tell that to him? That's horrible. That'll make him more afraid and more tense. And So you're there to help, okay? So telling him that someone else has it and he's in horrible pain or he's almost dead or he's a nebuch and he's in terrible situation, just think it out. Be, be wise in, your, in, you know, in what you plan. And don't tell him that other people who have this disease die from it or, you know. I guess you get the point. And sometimes your patient is very smart and he knows what you're doing and so work it. Just make sure with a plan that you can you can help and not make things worse. Thanks for logging on and log on again tomorrow for more. Bye-bye.